In this video, we're going to be installing DB Browser for SQLite and checking it out. And DB Browser is a real lightweight tool for working with your SQLite database. And if we go to the checklist, the first thing we'll do is we'll install it, set it up in our machine, the DB Browser for SQLite. Then we'll create some tables and then we'll also insert some records into our tables by the end of the video. Where you need to go to download this is go to the downloads button. And I'll have this link down in the description. If you click on that, you'll end up on this page. And in my case, I'm interested in installing for Windows and I'm using 64-bit. Now, if you're not sure which bit you are using, you could always go down to your, or go into your search and search for a control panel. And then go into system and security and system right here. And right here, you'll find that information. So I'm using 64-bit. So that's what I'm going to install. So I'll close this back down and I'll install this. Once it's done installing, go ahead and open it up. Accept the terms and hit next again. And here I'm going to go ahead and add a shortcut to the desktop. So I'll click on this and hit next. And this would be fine. I'll leave it as the default and go ahead and install it. And now we just installed the DB browser, so we could click on finish. Let's open up the UI by using our shortcut. On the desktop, you should see this icon if you clicked on create a shortcut when you were in the wizard. So let's open this up. And then the first thing we'll do is create a brand new database. So click on new database. And I'll just throw this on the desktop. I'm gonna be deleting this soon and I'll call it test. Click save. And that creates our database. Now let's create a couple tables. So the first table I'll create is a post and we'll add some fields like the ID and it's going to be integer. Is it going to be not null? Yes. Primary key, auto increment and unique. And then the second field I'll call title and this feeds some text and not null. And that'd be fine for our post for now. Click OK. And I'll go ahead and create a new table and you could click on create table right here. And the next one would be comment. And hit okay. So we created a couple tables. So let's add some data to our table. So in this case, we'll add some information to our post. We'll create a few posts. We'll insert some records to our post. So to do that, click on browse data and then click on insert. And this will open up a field for you right here. So we'll add one right here. And to give you some more space, just uh, expand it right here. You could do that right here. And then I'll just say post one. And now we have some records in our database. Let's make sure we save them. So click on write changes. I do this all the time. I add information to our database. And I forget to click on this and then it doesn't show up in the application I'm working on. So make sure you click on write changes. And we could also execute SQL commands by clicking on this. And then you could write whatever commands you want. And I'll just select post in this case. And then to execute this, you just click play right here. And here are all the posts that we created. A couple other things you might want to check out if you click on view, and then, for example, let's click on the one I like is the SQL log right here. Click on this. And here you can see all the SQL commands that are being ran against your database. That is a quick rundown on using DB Browser for SQLite. In the next video, we're going to check out a plugin within Visual Studio Code that helps you with working with SQLite. We'll do that next.